I've covered college football for more than 35 years, and I've never seen anything this bizarre. We had Shiano, which didn't work. Mike Gundy said no. David Cutcliffe said, uh, <coughs> thanks, but no thanks. It's now suggested NC State's Dave Doran, the focus of Tennessee's attention. It's not a big secret. You weren't Tennessee's first choice. But here you are with a shot in the SEC to get a place back that's been the essence of instability. What do you want your stamp to be on this place? Well, you know, Chris, if you looked at my background, I was probably not a lot of people's first choice over the years. And 12 years ago, I was coaching high school ball, and 20 years ago, I was plumbing a house. So uh, to me, I was Philip Fulmer's first choice, and that's what matters to me. Let's go, snap it up, snap it up, snap it up, snap it up. Our stamp on the program here, we want people when they watch Tennessee play to say, hey, we respect how these, this team plays. They play together, they play with toughness. That's the way football is supposed to be played. Everywhere I've been, I have seen and felt the power of the T. The T represents power. The power of the T. The power of the T. What does that mean to you? The first thing to me when I think about the power of the T is toughness. Uh, growing up watching Tennessee football, uh, how they played, the respect that the other teams uh, in the league had for Tennessee. I mean, it's just toughness, toughness in the program. Hey, I want to see you low to high. Go through him right here, low to high. Going this way, you're tackling, flat step, right foot forward. So hit, come on. How would you describe him as a coach? He's very hands-on and communication-wise and very vocal. Uh, it's no really great areas with him. He tells a lot of time it's nothing personal, it's just coaching. So being able to take coaching and take what he's saying as something trying to help us and not hurt us, that will take us a long way. You're too close, guys. You can't be all sides. I expect him to do it right. I expect him to play with great effort, uh, toughness. There's no excuse for having mental errors. Make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! You know, everybody talks about the Nick Saban influence and what it means. I and mean, you're one of those who coached under Nick Saban. What does it mean to you when you hear the Saban influence on college football, in, in particular this league? Well, I think if you look what Coach has done over the, over the history of being a head football coach, he has actually improved and adapted uh, wherever he's been. And I think he, he's a great job in developing coaches and players. And if you work for him long enough and you can't take something from him, then something's wrong with you. Where are you guys better right now than you thought you would be at this point? I like the way we compete at practice. If you watch this practice in the spring, as opposed to how we practice now, uh, we've learned to practice. We, we, we've learned to compete every day. And as long as we continue to do that, we're, we're going to get better every day, and that's all we can ask out of our players.